Microsoft Pinpoint, make it work for you. So what is Pinpoint? Pinpoint is an open marketplace for Microsoft partners and developers to promote and sell Microsoft technology and cloud solutions to customers worldwide, amplifying your pipeline of qualified leads. In FY14, there were 6.3 million visits to Pinpoint. 1.2 million customer referrals were sent to partners this year through this site. And 45% of these inquiries were from customers who are ready to buy. Pinpoint really is designed to drive the right customers to you. With it, you can easily promote and sell your apps and technology solutions through one of the largest B2B marketplaces in the world. You can maximize your exposure and increase visibility through a comprehensive integration with Microsoft.com, Microsoft products, as well as Microsoft customer campaigns. You can also extend your reach with global access, including availability of the marketplace in 40 different languages. And Pinpoint enables partners and developers to connect to meet the unique business needs of customers with full solution offerings. Pinpoint recently got a new design, and with this new design, that means new opportunities for partners like you. Quickly, the new Marketplace features robust search and browse features that help customers find an array of solutions and services with strong filters that ensure the best partner and solution matches for them. Partners with strong profiles can experience more quality customer referrals as a result. And coming soon, partner performance measures will become a key factor in servicing the right partner based on customer need. This means how quickly you respond to customer inquiries will be included in where you service in search results. Partners will also be able to track customer referrals in a lead management system supported by a new seller dashboard. Both of those things are coming soon. So let's take a look. Here's the new home page, a clean modern design with multiple ways to find partners and their solutions. It really means more ways for customers to find you. So the search feature right in the middle of the page, easy to see, easy to find, provides an equal opportunity for all partners with keywords and competencies being the most significant contributors to where you will surface in search results. There's also a browsing feature that will be programmed by Microsoft that will surface partners that align with specific campaigns, initiatives, and product launches. And then the Find a Partner feature. Here's the Find a Partner tool in a closer look. Really, it's three steps to find the right partner. Customers enter their contact and company information. They describe the issue, the problem, the business need that they have and then pinpoint surfaces the right matches and will continue to surface matches until the customer finds the right ones for them. Search results are shown in a few different ways, grid view and tile view, and then also map view. A few different ways to see search results that align with the various ways that customers like to digest and find information. The new design places a new look and feel to your profile page. It's more customizable, it's cleaner, it's more modern. The top banner allows you to add or integrate your own images to really personalize the page. Your content is cleanly organized your competencies listed on the right-hand side of the page, and then a Connect with Partner button, direct access that the customer has to reaching you. So now that we've taken a look at the new site and a little bit about how it works, let's take a look at how business customers are searching and finding you. We've done extensive usability studies that show that customers are searching Microsoft.com and Pinpoint using keywords. Keywords relate to Microsoft product names, and they also relate to the actions, objectives, the business needs, the tasks that customers have and need your help with. More people search by issue or action-oriented keywords than product. 
So it's important to really understand the business needs of your customers and how what you do and provide benefits them. With that information, let's take a look at all the other factors that contribute to search. Of course, keywords again, that's the number one thing, has the most weight. Keywords then aligned with competencies. Competency comes in at number two. Response rate, this is the response rate to customers. How quickly you respond to customer inquiries provides a better customer experience. And that's what we want Pinpoint to do. We want it to be the go-to place for them to find partners like you. In addition, partners with cloud productivity, small and mid-market cloud solutions, cloud platform competencies, we'll see that uh, integrated into how they are serviced in search. Customer ratings and reviews, still very important. Profile freshness, those partners that take the time to keep their profile updated and current, adding new listings with every new software release, paying attention to industry trends and integrating those right keywords, that will be integrated into search results. And then of course location, many customers are looking for partners in their regions and that will count towards search result optimization. Again, keywords entered are the most important and have the most weight. Be sure you are integrating the most accurate keywords to describe your business offerings. The more specific you are, the better. So what is Microsoft doing to drive customers to pinpoint? Well, there are a few demand channels, and one is that there are links and banners across the Microsoft domain that are driving customers to pinpoint. A second is on the Microsoft product group pages where deep links will go into relevant searches on Pinpoint, showcasing the partners that best support that group and its offerings. And then there are product specific marketplaces that are supported by Pinpoint. These are designed for customers who really know the Microsoft product catalog and know what products will best support their business need. So let's take a closer look at the product-specific marketplaces. Right now, there's an Office 365 marketplace. There are marketplaces for Microsoft Dynamics, System Center, Microsoft Azure, and Windows Server. With your strong pro pinpoint profile and listings that are relevant to any of these specific products, you can list both in pinpoint and a product marketplace. And there's really detailed guidance on how to do this um, in the Partner Center on Microsoft Pinpoint, so take a look there and get more information. Partners with strong profiles are 10 times more likely to engage with customers. What makes a great profile? There are three things that go into a great profile. A company overview that speaks to your specific areas of expertise, application and service names that state what your offering provides or does, and listings for each application or service you offer that describe the specific benefits the customers can get from you. A strong profile can open multiple engagement channels. When you follow the guidelines to create a strong profile in your local language, you can use that profile not only in your own country, but in countries that also share your language. So for instance, if you have an office or a business in the United States with an English profile and you have a good way to serve customers in Canada or the UK or Australia, you can use that same profile and showcase what you do and what you offer in those countries. When you create a strong profile in your own language, it's much easier to localize into other languages, which helps you expand your reach into other markets on Pinpoint and beyond. Just another reminder, keyword integration is the top thing you can do to improve your profile. So what are keywords exactly? They're the benefits a customer gets from using your application or service. They align with the specific tasks or objectives a customer wants to accomplish. And of course, they align with Microsoft product names. If you're having trouble identifying the keywords that best serve you, look on the relevant Microsoft product sites. Use Google and Bing keyword tools. Ask your customers. Ask your customers, how did they find you? What words did they search? on Pinpoint to find you, or even in Bing or other search engines. 
and then listen to your customers in meetings or in the phone. Um, listen as they talk about their business needs. What words and phrases do they use? All of these are things that you can take into account when creating your profile. More profile tips. Less text makes your profile easier to read. Less is more. Clear, succinct, to-the-point profiles really engage customers more quickly and easily. Write as if you were speaking to a customer. We can help you. Very direct, very clear. Action words engage people who are scanning. Use verbs. Keep your content in present tense. It's easier to scan and it's easier to localize. And then use bulleted lists. They really help break out information so that it's easier to read. It's a great way to highlight specific keywords and really call out the benefits that you can provide to customers. Remember, people don't read online when they are searching for something. They are scanning. They are scanning for the words and phrases that resonate most for them, resonate with their needs, resonate with their business. You can differentiate your company or offerings by being specific. We're all following these guidelines, but if you can be more specific, you can clearly differentiate from competitors even that may offer similar things. So in your company overview, right away, state your company's expertise in the first sentence. So right away, customers who want what you do will know to continue to keep reading. Beyond that, you can list three to five areas of focus, business needs you specialize in, Microsoft products you support. Use those bulleted lists to call out these key areas. Similarly, with your app and service listings, state where you're, what your offering does, the Microsoft products it supports, who it's for. Do this in the first couple of sentences. And then a bulleted list of features and benefits. Uh, things that customers can expect when they buy your offering. Beyond that, you can enhance your listings and your product descriptions with screenshots, videos that show how your offering works, online demos, free trials, customer ratings and reviews. Customer ratings and reviews are still very important. At the end of any key projects coming up, make a point to ask your customer to write a review about the work you did for them. Be sure to ask them to include the specifics about the projects, the benefits that working with you brought to them, the things that they gained, the processes that improved, the value that they got as a result of your work. So we've gotten an overview of Pinpoint, what it is, what it does. We've taken a look at the new site and the new ways that it can support customers in finding you. We've also taken a look at a way that you can optimize your profile to attract and engage more customers. The bottom line is we really want you to succeed. Moving forward, if you have questions or you need help, please don't hesitate to contact these uh, people listed on this page, the support aliases, and please visit the Pinpoint Partner Center, where you will find a myriad of resources and training and guidance on how to craft a profile that really showcases what you do and engages the most customers. Make Pinpoint work for you.